Hi guys, this is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my watercolor project. So now there's a couple of things I want to say before I actually get started. I have already drawn out the pattern that I want to use watercolor on. And I was going to use my watercolor paints, but I think I'm going to use these Derwent Inktense watercolor pencils instead and just see how they work. This is the Artist Loft watercolor pad, 140 pound paper, 300 G M squared, so GSM paper, and it is watercolor paper made for this purpose. So I'm going to go ahead and start. So um, I think I'm just going to have more control with the watercolor pencils instead of the actual paint. I'm going to be using this, it's like a no-name watercolor brush, and then I'll just get some paper towel and dab off like the color when I'm done. And I might be using the Sakura Pigma Micron fineliners just to outline if I want some extra detail at the end. And I have to say that this is not an original. This is not made up by me. I'm actually getting this from the Pale Paper. I will link that below just so you can check that out. And it's a picture that I found, I think it was a couple of years ago now, or a year and a half ago, that I found it. So I will link that below if you're curious and you can go check it out. I will have some subtle differences. Mine won't be exactly the same. And uh, we'll just go from there. Okay, so we're going to get started.
Just have to make sure that you know Would you be there for me if I'm flying straight into the sun Blinded by the light I'm chasing that has happened before And maybe you don't know for sure But you can start a fire without a spark Forget what I told you
want you more than my name I wanna float on downstream Go and find my wild dreams, yeah I'd kill to fill it all shade And I think that's all I want to do. I'm not going to touch it anymore. So that is it for my watercolor project. So now what my plan is, um, in my bullet journal, this will be used for my April setup. And I decided to use this washi tape just to cover the edges because I want to cut it out so it doesn't take up the whole page in my bullet journal. And I'm not sure if it's going to rip this when I take it off. It shouldn't. But it does leave you with a really nice clean border. Except for this, because this was a mistake from a different project. But I'm not going to be using that. I will be cutting this off. It's not going to be framed or anything like that. So yeah, I'm going to be using this in my bullet journal setup for April. And um, so I have picked a bullet journal to go ahead with for my, my migration, I guess. And <clears throat> so I'm going to be posting um, my bullet journal collection video first. And then my bullet journal setup or this one, it doesn't really matter which one, but this is going to be a watercolor project. So that is it for this um, project. I will have every, like all the supplies I used, I'll link them down below. If you guys are curious at all, please like send me any questions, comments at all. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'd love if you subscribed and don't forget to click the bell notification so you won't miss any videos. And we'll talk to you guys all soon. Bye now.